So, um, two middle school girls, ages 11 and 12, uh, were arrested because they had planned to uh, lure 15 other younger uh, students into a bathroom so that they could cut them up, uh, kill them, drink their blood, and then kill themselves. Uh, the two girls claimed to be uh, Satan worshipers and they were gonna do this in a school. And um, I mean, luckily the plan was foiled uh, by the parents or by the school. They found out some kind of way and this did not happen. But man, what a terrible scenario. Um, but this is uh, not uh, shocking to me uh, because have you noticed that the movies, have you noticed that the music, have you noticed that everything is getting more and more dark and more and more evil these days. I don't know why no one's paying attention to it, but this is something that I warned you about in The Truth Behind Hip Hop Part 10. Uh, I warned you about CERN. Uh, CERN is the semiconductor machine that is a proton accelerator and it actually opens uh, uh, portals into other dimensions so that they can retrieve what they call dark matter. Dark matter is a substance that is uncontrollable and basically it's a demonized substance that they cannot regulate any kind of way. And they have taken this dark matter and put it in uh, schools and uh, different things and the kids have had demon, demonic possessions. They've um, lost control of themselves. I mean, all kinds of things have happened. So since they've been running these tests in this semiconductor uh, in Switzerland, I mean, we've been seeing uh, all kinds of demonic activity from the musicians that perform it, the way they look, they all look uh, like demons. They talk about demons. Lil Wayne just came out with his song about demons and all these guys are demonized. And then uh, the, the movies and the TV shows, all the TV shows are something dark, some kind of supernatural phenomenon, some kind of uh, something from another dimension, everything. And even even uh, me and my uh, son-in-law, we were talking about even the, the monsters in these movies like uh, uh, Quiet Place or the show Stranger Things and different things, they all look alike. They've got these, what they call the demigorgons or these uh, monsters in the upside down. They all look alike. They all have the same appearance. So there is something going on uh, that they're not telling us about. Uh, but I promise you the word of God is true. And it said in this day, we would begin to see things like this. And I'm telling you, uh, without praying parents, without true adamant believers, without people actually uh, still staying close to the Lord and staying close to the word, we're going to see this more and more as parents have uh, children that they don't want, uh, have, have unwanted kids or kids that are just here because of their lust or, or immoral activity. Uh, and these kids feel uh, no place. They don't feel like they have true love. I'm telling you, it's going to be, uh, they're going to open themselves up for this kind of demonic uh, possession. And then the more shows they watch, the more music they listen to, it's just going to get worse and worse. So it's really time to pray, especially as this Halloween season uh, nears, which is the day of Satan. And, you know, the people that are supposed to be fighting against it or standing against Satan, they're out having trunk or treats and they're out having harvest festivals and dressing their kids kids up as ghouls and goblins and different things and trying to mimic this day to give their kids something. Man, people really don't know what's going on. Even Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, said that he's happy that so many Christians uh, allow their kids to be sacrifices to Satan on Halloween. So I'm telling y'all, this is real. This is nothing to play with. It's time to pray. And really, it's time to homeschool. Mm -hmm.